Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within the Properties dialog box for a selected public folder, you can click the Folder Assistant button that appears on the General tab in Outlook 2010 through 2013, or on the Administration tab in Outlook 2007, to create, edit, delete, or turn on and off rules that you have created. Setting up rules for a folder is a fairly straightforward concept. A folder rule simply states that when items arrive into the folder that match a specified criteria, they will then be processed by whatever the rule dictates should happen when an item of that type is received. You can have multiple rules applied to a single folder. The rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules. They can also be modified at a later date or deleted entirely if they are no longer applicable. You can also turn them on and off without having to delete and recreate them. In the Folder Assistant dialog box, click the Add Rule button to launch the Edit Rule dialog box. Here you can set the condition that the rule will act upon. It can be when the item is either from an individual or sent to an individual. And if that is the case, you will need to click the appropriate button and then select the correct names. You can also check the sent directly to or copied to to include those types of items as well. You can also specify the subject or message body content that the rule will act upon by typing what you want the rule to act upon into those text boxes. Once you've set up what will trigger the action of the rule, all that is left is to specify what the rule will do when it receives an item in the folder that matches the criteria you set. You can check either the return to sender, delete, reply with, or forward checkboxes. You can also select more than one action if desired. Also, if you choose to reply, then you must click the template button and type up what you want as the reply in the body of the email message that appears. If you check the forward checkbox, then you need to click the to button to select a recipient. You can also set the format of the forwarded message by using the method drop down. Now when you are finished, click the OK button to set the folder rules. Then click OK within the Folder Assistant dialog box to set the rule. Notice that the rule appears in the Folder Assistant dialog box with a check in front of it. You can turn a rule off by simply returning here and clearing the check from the checkbox to shut the rule off. You can turn it back on by simply clicking the same checkbox to put the rule in place again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.